Hey everybody, it's Sherpa Rage. Today I'm going to be doing the build breakdown for Chroma, the new dragon-esque Warframe. Uh, he's more of a dragon shaman, really, when you kind of get down to it, um, to be completely honest. Uh, his abilities are Spectral Scream, Elemental Ward, Vex Armor, and Effigy. Um, he, to me, seems very, um, very caster-friendly, um, being at right now max level is 562 power uh that is with a prime flow at rank eight um i also have prime continuity for duration duration is really good for his second and third ability um fleeting expertise so more power efficiency minus duration you know kind of canceling out on that prime continuity there so still minus 30 percent um we're about 69 percent power uh duration um so we do have that kind of going on him right now. Uh, do have Rifle Amp just because he does have a V polarity. Probably honestly going to form a him to give him energy siphon because um, he does seem a little bit more caster. Like I said though, he does have 562 power with that Prime Flow, not even at max rank. So that's pretty freaking good. 860 health, 860 shield with redirection, vitality, vigor. Probably don't need the vigor so much, but right now I'm making him a little bit more tanky. Um, not so much on the caster, so he's a little bit fun like that, especially running around with his first, just kind of flaming everything. Um, so we do have intensity, power, strength there. Um, so we do have a little bit more power for a little bit more power strength. Um, the range is the same. It's kind of hard to see through his mask like that. It actually clips physically through the screen, which is funny. Um, so yeah, he's he's pretty basic build right now. I haven't really got too much into form. I just got him to 30 yesterday. Um, I do want to apologize for being inconsistent on my videos and everything. I've actually been in Australia for the last couple weeks and have not even been in the country. Internet was a little bit hard to get over there. Um, so I do apologize for that. I was going to make kind of a video talking about that and outlining that. So um, I want to thank D DE so much for being very understanding and uh, very just relaxed on that. And I do intend fully to put out more videos um, following this one. I'm really excited with the new stuff. I'm super excited to get into raiding. I haven't actually got into it yet. So I'm hoping, though, uh, when I do hear that, it'll be a lot of fun. Um, Still haven't decided if I like this physical hat or his actual helmet look. Um, do kind of like the original one better. He almost reminds me a little bit of Necros in a weird kind of way. Or not Necros, I'm sorry, Hydroid in a weird sort of way with the the fancier helmet. Um, that one's, it's not a bad helmet. I just can't decide if I like it or not. It looks really good, though, when he goes into shaman mode and, and sheds it. Um, so his actual face, if you no is actually this under part here right kind of looks almost like trinity he's very trinity-esque when he sheds his dragon skin and his ult um so i'll go ahead just jump in show you guys some play and talk a little bit more about why uh, i like chroma for what abilities he has and how i can see him being useful all right everybody so here we are running chroma on uh, zini of course as as usual uh, I am working with leveling up some of these other weapons. The Dex, uh, the Dex Dakra, um, are amazing in my opinion. A lot of fun to play with. Haven't decided if this secondary spark gun is good. It's, it's pretty good so far. Um, looking at probably like a two or three form of build to get it about where I want. Fun enough to play with to where I could easily see myself going and working on doing a couple form of build for it so let's get let's get some fire going on here uh, god this is so much fun nice thing is you can pick energy up too when you're walking around and uh, after his ult is cast and you have the sentry mode going so it's really easy to keep maintained um, your energy consumption and everything this is mainly why I want the power strength for us for that flame um, his other abilities you know Elemental Ward. With that, with the duration, it's kind of the abilities aren't as good um, in terms of the actual viability, I'd say, for hardcore level stuff right now. So he's not. I mean, but if you look, 1,120. I mean, that boost on that health is just ridiculous, which is kind of nice. They really did seem to make him almost a balance out um, some of what they were doing with the uh, the infested moas and everything just getting a little bit too ridiculous 
You can see my percentages there, 227, 389, like, it's so nice once you take damage and, and start just kind of building up his, jeez, 407. That's, might as well pop the ult. So there's the ult. It literally sheds your skin. You can see what he looks like without, which I think he looks really cool without uh, the dragon armor on as well. And the dragon armor itself is just pretty badass. And that is a toggle ability, a toggle ult, which is kind of nice. So you can just leave that roaming. Uh, it's really good for defense missions, just kind of leaving it by the pod and everything. So clearly. <laughs> All right, let's uh, pop my shields. Jeez. It's always fun. Dex Doc are actually pretty good uh, crit chance. Um, about 32 with the crit chance um, mod. Once. So it's about a third, you know, 30, 32% there. Um, but with the crit damage, it does 3.8 times crit damage, which is pretty good. It's a good slash weapon, good for like buzzkill, you know, the, the slash melee. Um, so good to put both those on. Um, of course, Pressure Point, Fury, that's pretty much like a given on almost all of them. So... It's a, it's a very fun melee weapon. Uh, it does have the uh, Swirling Tiger stance on it, I believe. Yeah, Swirling Tiger, which is one of my favorite melee mods. Uh, it's really great with the dual cleavers. I've always enjoyed using it a lot, so... Yeah, it's, not, it's not a bad weapon. Let's get my alt going there. Just kind of run around, shoot shit, you know. Pull my dragon skin back to me. That's still one of the coolest parts about that is just the dragon skin coming back to you like that. Let's try to f these guys down. Your one is the toggle ability as well. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yes, you do toggle it on and off. So essentially just go into fire breathing mode. Okay, this gun is not bad. Reload speed's a little bit... A little bit iffy. Um, do want to put stunning speed on there for that little bit of status chance and the reload as well. That would be really nice. Um, doing mainly, I think, a slash on this because I think it does mostly slash damage um, as well as some corrosive for the the dual stack corrosive, so the jolt and uh, pistol pestilence or whatever it is. Or vault, vault hostra. I don't remember exactly the name of them all. <laughs> It's been, it has been a while since I played Warframe. I did remember to put my Kubro in stasis because I do think about things like that. I want to make sure that I don't kill my six-formed Kubro and have to do all that over again. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I haven't talked about Chroma too much, but he is the Dragon Sword of Shaman. I mean, you guys kind of see his abilities. He's very, very group support oriented. Like his one and his four, his one and his ult are really his only sort of damagey, but they're very crowd control very nice give you um you know some some sort of larger crowd control without guns like that uh his of course i didn't mention chroma his energy color does depend on what type of elemental damage it does so mine's orange which does a fire type there's greens do like poison um or toxic i believe it is and then i don't know if you can get mixed ones like radiation or like uh, electrical or I'm sorry magnetic or um, ones like that uh, viral you know gas any types of mixed ones um, but all in all uh, it is pretty nice you know you can have fire ice toxic so yeah I mean chroma's got that unique sort of aspect it's a little bit weird um, it's new though I like it it's different uh, chroma is fun I enjoy playing them a lot um, I, I must admit, getting him up to 30 and everything, of course, a lot of people were running Chroma. Uh, a lot of people seemed e either really new to him or just bad with him. Uh, a lot of people went down a lot more than I normally see with a new frame, so that had me a little bit concerned at first, but I think it's just, you know, people are getting used to a new frame and everything. So, um, And, of course, Volt Prime just came out as well, so I will be working on him. I got Chroma up in one day. I could probably get Volt Prime up today if I really wanted to, but... We'll see how that goes. So, uh, I am going to be doing some more build breakdown videos. I've been working on getting back into doing formas and stuff. 
So I will be doing more videos for you guys. Um, please do let me know if you guys have any requests or anything. I really want to get into raiding. If people want to do raids with me, uh, if they need me to do Oberon or something like that, you know, I'm really good at, uh, that's like my main Oberon, seriously. So, <laughs> um, But yeah, I've, I've been able to get into feeling, filling a little bit more roles now, um, especially like with the one for the Rift Sigil. Um, I ended up doing that about on the third or second time I did it um, with a group of just fantastic people and I know I think I have a screenshot somewhere of who was all in that group but seriously every single one of those people that I was with in that group that helped me run that uh, was just a great they were delightful to have they all did their jobs uh, they all communicated very well very professional um, so just pro props and bravo to the 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 guys and gals or whoever they were um, who helped me through that and who, who did that. Uh, you guys were just a, an absolute, you know, positive thing to have in the community. And I just really wanted to, to have a shout out for you guys and girls because this seriously made that event that I thought was going to be the first event that I ever failed uh, a, a joy and a challenge and very fun. So thank you to those people. And sorry I didn't talk too much about Chroma. I was trying to give you guys an update on everything. I mean, you guys have pretty much seen him. Um, it's not, you know, his abilities are, are pretty nice. Great for group support, great group sustain like that. Ult's really fun. Don't know why you can't cast in the air. I mean, you are a dragon. Seems a little weird, you know, but... Yeah, so, all right, one more MOA here. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'll be doing more build breakdowns, like I said, in the future. And uh, thanks for the views. Subscribe if you like. I always love to hear from fans. So, thanks, and I hope to see you guys in the future.